Hello, Chris from My Stamp Lady here with a quick tip video. So I made this tag, and in here I have uh, some of the spritzed colors. This is actually Tangerine Tango. It spritzes quite light. Crushed Curry, and then it moves into Coastal Cabana. And then I even spritzed the flowers. So this flower here is Tangerine Tango, and after I stamped it, I felt too stark white, and I had my bottle there, so I just spritzed it, and I loved how it turned out. And so then I made another bottle and did the strawberry slush. So I'm just gonna show you the spritzing part of this tag. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take your spritzer. They come in a package of two, the ones from Stampin' Up, and this was already full, so I had to rinse it, or it wasn't full, it was had a little bit in there. So I rinsed it out to show you how to fill it. You want to use rubbing alcohol because that will dry more quickly than water. And this is the 91% rubbing alcohol. So there are um, two content amounts. You'll find one with more alcohol and one with less alcohol. So then I'm filling it up and I don't fill it up quite all the way because otherwise once I've added my drops and I put the top on it will overflow. I know that from personal experience. So then I have some gumball green ink refill. And I've done about 10 drops of ink refill, so just one, two. And you can obviously do it as you want it lighter or darker, just depending on what you want. Take your top, screw it back on there, and then just going to shake that up. And that's it. That's how you fill up or get your color. And of course you can add shimmer stuff to there if you want a little sparkle or shimmer. And that's how I make them. Rubbing alcohol, the ink refill, and that's what you do. Okay, I'm going to set this one aside. I am going to pull in my little spritzing catcher. And I just put a piece of um, you know, scratch paper in here and then after it gets too icky, I pull it out. So there's my... Um, there's my tag that I want to spritz. I'm going to pull in my Tangerine Tango. I like to just give it a spritz just to get a feel for if it's how it's flowing. And then just spritz. Go around. Then I can pull in my Crushed Curry. And just start from there and move down. There we go. And then the last color I used was Coastal Cabana. There we go. Now I'm gonna let this dry because you get a different look after That's my dry. flower that I've stamped and cut out with the um, framelit. And now I'm just going to spritz that with the Tangerine Tango ink. And then you see I have a strawberry slush flower Set that down and we will spritz that with the strawberry slush. Okay, now I'm gonna let these dry and then I'll come back and show you what I am. Okay, so they've mostly dried and now you can see how my Coastal Cabana goes into my crushed curry and into the Tangerine Tango and obviously you spritz it just as where you want the color. Now I have a strawberry slush flower and a tangerine tango flower. If you have any questions about spritzing or filling your spritzing bottles, don't hesitate to contact me at chris at mystamplady.com. Thanks for watching.